Welcome to Guy Coco Gamers. I'm Gerald Benson. I'm here to talk to you guys uh, about something that's pretty near and dear and important to me, but I will say we have a new setup here, new camera equipment, uh, new microphone, hopefully that looks good, and new lighting. And you guys get to see my uh, Lost World Jurassic Park arcade cabinet, which is pretty cool. I'd have it on, but it makes quite a bit of noise even with the sound volume turned down, so uh, I didn't want to get that in the way. So anyway, this is about how the uh, episodes are going to be going from now on. Uh, however, we'll also be doing stuff on location outside uh, in the desert, so you get to see a bit of my lovely home state of Arizona. So anyway, what I want to talk to you guys about today for our first professional episode is uh, the Nintendo New 3DS. The, the New 3DS is not coming apparently to America. We're only gonna get the, the new XL. And um, first off, I have to say that the name is horrible. Uh, I, you'd think that they would have learned after the Wii U, but I guess not. Um, y you need to really differentiate that this is a new system, not just by calling it new. And I understand you can't call it like a 3DS2 because technically it's on a sequel. However, you've already trained, you know, your Nintendo faithful that a little I, you know, to the next, uh, next to, uh, you know, the DS, it, it means that it's a new version without being a sequel. So they could just call it a 3DSi. Just a thought. But I'm not Nintendo. I'm not here to press judgment on the name, really, because at the end of the day, I don't have the power to change it. But what I do think that we as gamers have the power to change here is the fact that the, the small one, which I think is the better of the two, is not coming stateside. And the reason why that's a problem is because, frankly, I think the smaller one is better. The reason why it's better is because if there's any reason why people kept on upgrading 3DS after 3DS after 3DS after 3DS, it's because of limited editions. I think we can all attest to the fact that the limited editions sucked. Not that they sucked because of how they look, but it sucked because it's like every single time you bought one, a new one came out, and you're like, oh, wow, I just bloody bought a 3DS XL, and it's nice, and it's red, but I really want that Pikachu one, and then the Animal Crossing one came out, etc., etc., etc. And it's got, kind of got annoying, and the great thing about the new 3DS, a smaller size one, is that it has interchangeable faceplates, something that the XL doesn't have, and I have a suspiciously weird feeling that the reason why they didn't bring that to America is because they know that we buy the XL Special Edition so much. Plus, they automatically assume that we're only going to want the XL and not the regular size one because a lot of people upgraded to the XL uh, when it came out. However, I think what they don't seem to understand is that a, there's another reason why uh, people upgraded from the base model to the XL, and it wasn't necessarily just because of size. It's because it was built better. I personally didn't care about the bigger screens. The reason why I upgrade is because my original launch day black shiny 3DS was built like crap. My, my, my hinge was going bad, my uh, bottom screen was piss yellow, unlike my top screen which was perfect, and then the bezel that they designed which they still haven't fixed, which I don't understand why, was so high that it was starting to scratch my top screen, which messed with the 3D effect. The 3DS seemed to have fixed all those issues, and that's why I upgraded. Uh, on top of that, the 3DS, the normal 3DS, was shiny. It felt kind of oily in your hands after a while, whereas the other one was matte. The XL was matte. It felt really nice. I think they're making some wild assumptions, and they're not considering the fact that the original 3DS design was just flat out bad. And that's why a lot of us went ahead and upgraded. And I think they're missing out on a huge market by not releasing the smaller 3DS here in the States. Now, I know they could change things, but I will say this. If they don't actually end up releasing one, I actually would plan on importing one from Japan. Uh, now, I understand that my US games wouldn't work, and that kind of sucks, but you know, at the end of the day, I, I find form factor very important for a portable. And as great as the XL was, one thing that I really never did like about it was its size. It was just a little too big. It's not a pocketable system, and I don't mean literally in your pocket. I just mean it's getting to that point where, in size, where it's really great to sit on your couch and play.
but it's not what I would consider a portable, just like I wouldn't consider a Game Gear a good portable. There's a certain size that you hit and where the portable becomes a little too unwieldy. Uh, same thing with the Nomad, that type of thing. I'm not saying that the XL was nearly as thick or anything, but you know, opened up, it's about that big, and that's that's kind of ridiculous. The, the, the regular 3DS is just big enough, and I kind of liked the size. I just didn't like anything else about it. Um, so hopefully that'll change, but I'd really like to know your thoughts. Uh, let us know in the comments below. Uh, please uh, subscribe. We've really been appreciating the new subscribers. Uh, we just got a couple more in this last week, and uh, hopefully you guys will see the improvements. And uh, another thing I also want to let you know, uh, we purchased all the equipment necessary to go ahead and film. And we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be filming classic, uh, classic game systems and classic games and doing some lighthearted reviews, nothing too serious. But we have all the capture hardware and software that we need in order, to go, in order to go ahead and start doing that. I know I mentioned that in the last title, but for those of us who are watching and you're just starting with this, I really hope that you can see that we're really a lot more committed than we used to be. And we're really excited about going ahead and uh, doing some stuff that we didn't before. Uh, again, Guy Cook Gamers kind of started out as a podcast and um, we're kind of going into new ground here. So we really hope that you enjoy it. Either way, this has been another bite size episode. I really hope you guys keep on tuning in. We'll be doing these every other day. And uh, once again, my name is Daryl Benson. We'll see you next time.